Writing the crucibles that shape us, navigating the defining challenges of leadership, really came to me over a four-year period. Uh, it was the culmination of several years of great challenges. And I was sitting with a dear friend of the college, and he asked me, you know, have you ever thought about uh, writing a book on all that's happened. A lot of bad things have happened since you got here. And I was, of course, bemused by that and started laughing. He goes, no, no, I don't mean that they happened because of you. I mean they happened and you were here. And it's really been quite remarkable the way you've worked through them. Well, I had already been thinking about it in some respects and, and uh, had begun preparing ideas and thoughts about it. And then I was invited as I headed towards a uh, presidential meeting to give an off-the-record talk about some of the challenges we had faced and how we had navigated them. And basically, how do you prepare and then how do you adjust uh, in the midst of a crisis so that you respond in ways that are effective and successful? And so that started the process. I went to this president's meeting, presented the ideas. The ideas landed well, and I began to do more thinking and more writing and a uh, lot of research. I then began to impose order on my ideas. And what I've always found is that I love to read uh, extensively, and then I reach a point of comfort where I think I can begin to see how the themes can be best presented. And so I imposed the order of seven crucibles, uh, in part because seven is a holy number, but also because seven is really a memorable number. And it's very straightforward to think about what are seven dominant ways in which you respond to crisis or the kinds of crisis that come to you.